Hello and welcome to GPS, God's Positioning System. And today, I believe and I know for a fact that God has a blessing for you. Let us just get right into what God has assigned me to do on today. But before I do, I want to ask you to do something quite simple. I want you to think about something that you desire from God. Very simple. Think of something that you desire from God. The Bible declares that all things are possible to them that believe. And today, I would like you to step out on faith. I can't come to your home and pray for you individually, but we can come together and pray collectively. Amen. I'm not Jesus. Amen. But I walk in the authority that Jesus has laid upon me. And I want to see you blessed beyond expectation. And I believe that today is the day that if you walk in faith with me, that you'll receive something fantastic. Maybe you're listening today and you're sick, afflicted. Maybe you have a loved one in the hospital. Maybe you have loved ones in the military. Maybe you know someone on hospice. Maybe you know someone confined to a prison or an institution and you want to see God's healing hand and God's hand of deliverance. Well, I want to let you know that when you touch God through faith, all things are possible. Will you pray with me? Can we pray together for a little bit? Gracious God, we come today in the name that's above every name. For God, you declared in your word that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. God, you, come on somebody, declared in your word that if we knock, you will open unto us. And God, if we asked, we shall receive. And God, I believe it. God, I believe it. And God, I'm looking for miracles on today. I'm asking you today to do something I've never asked you to do before. I'm asking you at the particular time to lay your hands on the television, lay your hand on your listening device as a point of contact, as a point of contact to receive what God has on today. I also want to ask, as I do every time we come together, that you would contact a friend, a neighbor, through social media, through phone, and let them know that GPS is on the air. If you would turn, we're going to look at a few scriptures. We're going to do them one by one. In the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse number 10, and it reads as followed. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. On this particular occasion, there was a man that was declaring, actually he was a centurion, a Roman soldier and his servant whom he loved laid home sick, getting ready to die. And he sent word, he encountered Jesus and said, Master, would you come to my house or would you pray? Not come to my house, but will you pray for my servant that my servant be healed. And to make a long story short, when Jesus said, I will come, his reply was, uh, Master, you don't have to come. He said, I know you are a man of authority. I know you're a man that when you speak, the angels respond. I know you're a man that has power. So God, I'm not even worthy for you to come to my house. Just speak the word and my servant will be made whole. I want you to know that that servant <laughs> was indeed made whole at that very hour. Now touch the television in the faith. If you can believe like that centurion soldier, touch your listening device, touch your television, and let's pray. Gracious God, today there are those standing firmly on faith. Ah, God, those standing firmly and belief. God, not that I'm a healer,
but God that you are a healer. And God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I'm praying for healing. I'm praying for those, like I said, God, in the hospitals, those, God, suffering from every manner of disease, every manner of sickness, every manner of infirmity. God, I'm praying for those today to be healed. Hallelujah. I'm looking for people to be healed from cancer. Lord, when the doctor said that healing is not possible because the cancer has metastasized, God, I declare that these bodies belong to you. And God, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I bind metastasized cancer. By the power of the name of Jesus, I declare it is broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. And that healing, come on somebody, is at this second manifesting itself. Atta, in the mighty name of Jesus. Atta, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, I declare you are God and beside you there is none other. God, I declare with you all things are possible. Come on, somebody, to them that believe. God, I'm declaring on your word, Lord, that as your representative, that I, should, I will lay hands upon the sick and they will recover. God, I can't go into their homes. God, I can't meet them in the street, but God, through the media of social media, through the media of television, God, we're touching by and through faith. God, in healing is coming through right now. Hallelujah, healing is coming through. Hallelujah, sugar diabetes uh, that's been out of control for years. Uh, glory to God, the sugar uh, is lowering right now. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, sickle cell, uh, glory to God, sickle cell traits uh, and sickle cell disease, uh, those that have episodes of pain uh, that's more than any mind can imagine uh, are being broken in the name of Jesus. Uh, and there will never be an outbreak, come on somebody, uh, of the pain uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, you're more than able. Oh, God, you're more than able. Huh? God, I'm praying for those today that have multiple sclerosis. I'm praying, God, for those that have Parkinson's, Lord, and that are shaking and are confined to wheelchairs and confined to their beds. And, God, are hallucinating from the effects of Parkinson's. God, in the name of Jesus, somebody, I declare in the name of Jesus, somebody is being healed right now by the power of your son, Christ Jesus. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we standing in faith. Lord, in the name of Jesus, somebody, somebody's grandson, somebody's granddaughter are behind the prison Wall. Somebody uh, has been wrongly convicted and wrongly sentenced and can't get a lawyer uh, to represent them or never had adequate representation in the first place. But God, I'm declaring new evidence. I tell almost uh, new evidence. Oh God, uh, evidence that's been hidden uh, for 18 years and evidence that's been hidden for 20 years plus. I declare uh, in the name of Jesus that time uh, and the enemy cannot no longer hold it. Uh, and evidence is coming up uh, and they're going to walk out in the next 12 months. They're walking out from, from prison walls. I tell, they're walking out uh, in the name of Jesus. God, today, right at this moment, we're not praying for money. Huh? At this moment, God, we're not praying for riches. Huh? But God, in this moment, we're praying for a touch. Hallelujah. God, we're praying for a touch. Huh? God, we're praying for manifestation. Huh? Lord of the Holy Ghost. God, you declared in your word that these signs shall follow them that believe. God, you declared in your word huh, that we should lay hands, your ministers, your elders, lay hands on the sick. God, you said they will recover. And God, we're holding you to your word. God, I'm praying, God, now that angels be released. God, there are unsolved crimes. Unsolved murders and unsolved rapes. And there's children, not only children, there's adults missing that the law enforcement have never been able to find. And God, I'm praying for closure for these families, whether it's through the being reunited with their loved ones 
or whether the remains of their loved ones are found, that they don't have to be sitting in that state of misery, wondering where their son, their daughter, their mother, their grandmother or grandfather is at. God, I'm praying, God, for revelation. God, you are a God of peace. God, you declare in your word that my peace I give unto you. God, by faith, we're touching you by faith. Just as the woman with the issue of blood touched you. Hallelujah. God, nobody knew she had faith. <laughs> nobody knew she was looking to be healed through a touch. But God, when she came through the press, and when her hands, when her fingers were able to touch the hem of your garment, the scripture says immediately, come on somebody, immediately she was made whole. And God today, by faith, God, by faith, we're touching the hem of your garment. God, knowing that healing, knowing that deliverance, God, knowing that it's all coming in the name of Jesus. And God, you declaring a word. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I praise you, Lord. I, I praise you not only for my earthly language, but God, I thank you for my heavenly language. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for I don't know how to pray as I ought to, but the Spirit huh, maketh intercession with groanings huh, that cannot be uttered. And Lord, I thank you for, hallelujah, speaking not only in English, with, with that heavenly language. God, you're breaking strongholds right now. God, I'm praying for those that are homeless. God, now homelessness is so prevalent. God, it seems like it's, I've never seen anything like it. Lord, on Skid Row in Los Angeles, there's over 12,000 homeless people within a 10 block radius just about. God, drug addiction is running rapid. God, but it's not just in California. God, it's in many, many, many cities across the country homelessness. And God, even in the midst of COVID, people lost their jobs by the millions. And God, the federal government and state governments and local governments have put memor memorandums or moratoriums on evictions and on foreclosures. So during the period of the pandemic, they could not be evicted, even though they couldn't pay their rent. They could not, the homes could not be foreclosed on because they couldn't meet the monthly mortgage. But God, that's soon to end. The government is already talking about that soon to end. And God, unless you intervene, is going to be a catastrophe, a catastrophe in this nation with homelessness like we've never seen it before, with foreclosures, with numbers that are literally unimaginable. And God, I'm praying for this government to be merciful. I'm asking for this government to care about its citizens of every nationality, every color, not just the wealthy. God, I'm praying, Lord, that the millionaires and billionaires we have in this country would give to charities and, and nonprofits, Lord, to keep our people, your people in their homes. God, I'm praying that the president of these United States, Lord, would work with the Congress, the House, the government, Lord, the government leadership, God, to extend support to your people. Because I know with you, all things are possible if we believe. God, I know according to your word that you have the king's heart in your hand. God, I'm resting on that. God, I'm lifting up babies, Lord, on today. The little babies. God, in your word, there's one encounter where you, you declared through your son Jesus. I'm paraphrasing it. Let the little babies come and forbid them not. God, there are so many childhood diseases, so many childhood infirmities. God, musclefer dystrophy and it's more than I can name and our babies Lord are in hospitals our babies have lost limbs our babies are suffering from 
brain deformities and mental illness that manifests itself even in childhood. And God, I'm praying for our babies. God, because I know you love the children. So God, I'm praying for those, I'm going to say that's 12 and under. Someone's at home right now. Don't know who the mother is, who their father is. They're so confused. They don't know who to call mom and they don't know who to call dad. There's other children, Lord, that are demonstrating God. Somebody said they have a demon in them and it's not a demon at all. It's a disease that's been undiagnosed. Somebody is suffering from schizophrenia, depression, bipolarism. But God, I declare you are a healer. Now, God, I know they have medicine for many of these, <laughs> but God, there's nothing greater than you. God, you can surpass any pill. <laughs> God, you are the Lord that healeth us. And God, I'm praying that you would touch those watching us today. God, I would like, not for my glory, God, but for your glory to be notified. I want somebody to notify me, God, that you did a healing. God, that you removed the brain cancer that you removed the lung cancer, that you removed and healed from prostate cancer, that you healed God and delivered from ovarian cancer. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we have those that are old and maturing, God, those that are suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. God, our complete bodies belong to you, our minds, belong to you and God you know personally I have a loved one that's in bad shape when it comes to Alzheimer's she hardly knows who I am anymore and God you know it hurts and I know I feel the hurt so I know those that are watching are hurt God I'm lifting up those that have Alzheimer's and dementia God the medical profession says that there's plaque and the cells of their brain that are blocking the signals getting through. But God, I, I see spiritual dynamite. I see spiritual dynamite in the cells of the brain. God, I see blockages of, of plaque. I see them destroyed in the name of Jesus without any harm. <laughs> God, I'm seeing aneurysms being reversed. Oh, glory to God. Lord, I'm seeing that the doctors are profound. They're wondering what happened. But God, we're declaring that it's only through thy son, Jesus. It's only through the name of Jesus. When we touch that name through faith, God, that these things, these miracles are taking place right now. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, in the name of God, I'm praying, God, for dysfunctional homes, dysfunctional homes, abusive parents, children that have been neglected, children that are hungry, children that are failing in schools. God, you are more than able. God, I speak completeness and wholeness and renewal and restoration. But God, not only do I speak renewal and restoration, God, I speak you fixing that which have always been broken. God, by the authority of the name of Jesus, God, we break every family curse. Every generational curse in the name of Jesus. We break the spirit of addiction. Atanomosha. I got almost shy. Heroin addiction. That that I almost shot spirit of self-destruction. That spirit of self-bondage. I almost shot that spirit of trying to have a quick fix to feel better. God, we break it at the source in Jesus' name. Heroin, cocaine, crack, crystal meth, marijuana, alcoholism. God in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord that healeth us. God in the name of Jesus. God, Peter. <laughs> I heard somebody earlier today talking about Peter. How God in the midst of a, a big old storm, big old squall, 
a thunderstorm or a, a, a gale. It was so intense that they couldn't see you walking across the water. And I hear you telling the disciples, fear not, <laughs> it is I. But I also hear Peter say, Master, if it's you, <laughs> bid me to come. And God, from all the disciples, there was only one. <laughs> only one that was bold enough <laughs> to throw off his clothes, the text said, in another place, and to walk on the water. God, if it's only one today that's able to get that kind of faith. Ata, God, maybe they can't see complete faith. Ata, Moshe, maybe they don't have complete faith, Lord. Huh? But God, they have enough faith to get out the boat. Huh? They have enough faith to touch the television. They have enough, enough faith to touch their, touch their Walkman or, or whatever device through YouTube, but just touching it. They have that kind of faith. Huh? And God, I declare in the name of Jesus that if they step out on faith, you're going to touch them and raise them up. Oh, God, I see completion. I, I see a touchdown in the spirit. Hallelujah. They're going to receive it by faith. Those, I want you to pull it in. Pull it in. Somebody now, take your hand off the television and pull it in. Come on, somebody. Pull it in. I don't know. Pull it in. Pull it in right now. Pull it in by faith. Pull in your healing. Pull in your deliverance. Pull in your breakthrough. Pull it in in the name of Jesus. Huh? because it's broken right now. And I want to tell you right now, I want to tell you right now, hallelujah, some football plays, they don't call them. Huh? They don't say touchdown right then. Come on, somebody. Huh? Sometimes they say it's not a touchdown. Come on, somebody. Huh? But you know, they have instant replay. <laughs> Sometimes the judge has got to take another look at it. Huh? You say, what you're saying, Bishop, huh? when you go to the doctor tomorrow, it might not look like healing. Huh? When you go next month, it might not look like healing. Huh? But I'm telling you by faith, huh? you do an instant replay. Come on, somebody. Huh? You do an instant replay huh? and watch God. Watch God. Huh? He be done brought you through. Huh? Hallelujah. Be done healed you. Huh? The touchdown would have been made. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Oh, God, you're profound. Huh? Oh, God, there's no one like you. Huh? God, I declare you are God alone. Huh? And beside thee, there is none other. Huh? God, I declare that heaven and earth huh, will pass away huh, before one jot or one tittle huh, of your word fail. Now, God, I'm praying for those on their job, huh? those of them not making enough money, huh? those of them whose income is little, huh? but the need is great in the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh, Lord. Huh? Oh, Lord, I declare raises in the name of Jesus. Huh? I declare raises in the name of Jesus. Huh? I declare promotion huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? God, not that they're asking for it, huh? but that I'm asking for it huh? on their behalf. Huh? Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Huh? Hallelujah to God in the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh, Lord, I praise you. Huh? Lord, I praise you because huh? you're always right on time. Huh? Come on, somebody. Huh? God, you're always right huh? on time. God, I'm praying for those that want a fresh start. God, huh? Your word declares resist the devil huh? and he'll flee. Huh? And somebody watching is ready to run. Huh? God, I'm telling them through faith, there's nothing run, wrong with running. I'm going to say it again. There is nothing wrong with running running. Huh? Hallelujah. God, maybe they can't see it. Huh? Maybe they can't see it, God. Huh? Hallelujah to God. Maybe they can't see it, God. Huh? But God, you know all things. Come on, somebody. Huh? God, I'm asking you to open doors for those that need to run out of sin situation. Huh? God, with those, if they stay where they're at, huh, the dope man is going to kill them. Huh? God, if they stay where they're at, huh, the heroin dealer is still going to be knocking on their door. Huh? But God, in the name of Jesus, huh? Those that need a way out, those that need a way of escape, huh? God sends supernatural plane fare, huh? supernatural plane tickets, huh? bus tickets, huh? Amtrak tickets, huh? and God move them to a place of safety. For God, where you are, there is safety. God, we thank you on today. We thank you, God, for the privilege to be able to pray. 
we thank you for the privilege to be able to seek your face in the name of Jesus. And God, as I get ready to close, as we get ready to close, I pray for the government of these United States of America. I pray for our Vice President, Vice President Kamala Harris. I pray for the President Joe Biden. God, I pray for the Supreme Court and I pray for all the representations, all the representatives from every uh, branch of this government. God, I pray for every pastor. I pray for every church that's opened in your name. And God, even more so, I pray for a mighty move of your spirit and an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Until next week, and in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you.